Hi guys, welcome along back to the Ferrari 360. Uh, had an oil leak on the back of the engine. Uh, I was thinking it might be the rear main oil seal again, um, which I had last year when I changed the clutch. I changed this. Anyway, when I've been into the engine, this was good, but I've put, I've put a new one in anyway because I bought a, an actual official Ferrari one, and it ended up being the uh, the gasket behind it. So I should have really changed that last year, but didn't. But while I've got the engine uh, and well the gearbox stripped down and the exhaust had come off one of the jobs I wanted to do which I've had for a little while is a, a 430 uh, exhaust modification to give it the sort of challenge to early sound so that's something that I've been on to and that's something I'll be making up in this this video um, it, it takes a matter of getting a standard 430 exhaust chopping it re-welding it making it back up and you, you'll see the differences between a, a standard system the challenge system and the, the 430 system which probably gets you you know 95 percent of the way there so i hope you enjoy this and thanks for watching ferrari 360 exhaust challenge street alley exhaust 430 exhaust um all the exhaust systems basically come out the cats and meet it all in the same place um so that they, they, they will all sort of fit each other now the difference being when we look at the 430 system and the 360 system is the actual width as you can see the 430 system is wider and also it sits a bit higher um, so as, we, as we've got this bend that drops it down so the, the actual outlets come out a little bit further out and a bit further down than where they would on the 360 system so to make this system fit our car the plan is to make a jig so we've got the outlet height and the inlet height is exactly the same and then we'll take the 430 system and we're going to cut it and we're going to cut it further down to narrow it in and hopefully take this bend out so we'll get it to uh, these tails to come up so they're at the same in the same plane as the the existing ones and that then should bolt straight onto the car now the 430 system is pretty much the same as the challenge to early one or the 360 race system with a smaller um, muffler box a silencer whichever you want to call it but the bit that makes the the exhaust system uh, a bit more special and, and, and sound better if you look at the 360 system comes out the cats up into the silencer and then out the tail pieces and uh, we've got the valve that opens up when you look at the system that's that's gone on the challenge to early and also the, the the 430s comes out the cats it can come up into the silencer and back down the exhaust and out the tailpipe but when the valve opens comes out the cats and basically bypasses everything um, straight out and obviously that's what gives the, the system its raw and that real nice challenge to early sound so I'm going to make the jig um, and then we'll, uh, we'll we'll get on with taking this and uh, cutting it, chopping it and shortening it and doing the welding got a jig made up now so I've uh, packed up this piece here and got it round so obviously when I offer up the uh, the new exhaust they're going to be the, the inlets from the cats will know exactly where they should be so they'll sit exactly there and then we'll adjust and modify the new tips so we get them in this location and we know that they're slap flat to the board so the new system will be offered up and we'll uh, cut it and chop it accordingly and then uh, TIG weld it back together So I've got the back of the car stripped down, um, rear bumper obviously off, quite simple. Take a couple of the wheel axe liners out which has come out with bolts and then the bolt, just unbolt the bumper off. I've taken the exhaust out, the air box is, uh, is missing which I've taken out which just helps you guys see what I'm doing a little bit better once I start putting the cats back in. Um, but it's not essential to take them out to actually do this job. And then taking the side panels out because obviously I wanted to unplug 
out of here the uh, the sensors for the exhaust so I could unscrew them out of the cats so I'm going to start putting the things back in and then you'll you'll get an understanding of how it all goes together got the 360 exhaust pipes nearest to me here and then I modified 431s further to the way and you can see obviously where we've uh, cut and welded and uh, adjusted the angle so we, we did two two cuts on an angle and then ticked that up and that's, that's what we've done to both sides so I've got both cats back in the car so I'm going to put the tail pipes on um, everything's still loose so you can see there's a bit I've got plenty of plenty of play and we can get the uh, the brackets and bolts everything put into place a bit of fiddling around to get them to line up and look straight and even and we'll go from there so I've got the uh, tail parts fitted so from the cat connection left that loose brought brought the cat back in then we fitted the tail pipe directly on the smaller new back box is going to fit in here as we come down we can see there the actuator and then obviously this is the uh, the welding that we've done to make it shorter to bring in the tailpipe um, so we'll get we'll get the back box on next and uh, then we'll, we we need the new challenge through early bracket that will go on here to support and hold the exhaust because obviously the mounting points are different so there's, a, there's three pieces to that bracket which I'll show you that before we uh, before we bolt it on The original back box has, has got these brackets actually attached to the back box itself and then this brace goes across and attaches to this bracket on the, which is attached to the gearbox obviously because of our new 430 exhaust being a lot narrower you need these from the Strudelli so there's one, one for the left, one for the right which, which go in here and then a different width brace will then bolt across and, and attach to them so that's how the bracketry is done to support the uh, the back box um, off the gearbox bracket so we've got a left and a right uh, and the cross base which was uh, which we ordered up and they've come from the uh, challenge to rally So with the exhaust on now, still still loose, not uh, tightened everything up. Just slid the, uh, the back bumper back on, just to see where we sit and what sort of room I need to, to make. So I've taken a measurement directly from the bottom of the challenge grill to the top of the exhaust tip. I think I need that distance to be 190 mil, and that'll lift this exhaust up. And with it still loose at the minute. We're just we're just a little bit low. We're just not quite touching, but a bit low. So to get that in the centre, and obviously the bumper needs to lift up a little bit as well once it'll bolt up. So I'm going to make that 190. Just nip everything up, and then do another test fit, and we'll uh, hopefully have the uh, the tailpipe sitting somewhere in the in the centre of the holes. As you can see, I got the tailpipes actually central in the the apertures. A bit of me messing about and playing the. Uh, Taking the bumper on and off to get the measurement correct. I opted to leave the 430 finishers on rather than putting some Challenge Sudali ones on. If you like to see on this Challenge Sudali, that's the, the difference on the pipes. And then the only thing I didn't film that I've not put on was that the actuators, the vac holes, just needed a, a longer length. It's probably about six to eight inches too short. Less of that, and let's hear what the thing sounds like. That's what it's all about.
really pleased with how the exhaust has turned out and the sound it makes. Sounds awesome. I mean, the, the videos don't really do it justice. Talking of video, and I'd just like to thank my friend uh, Paul Ashcroft for uh, helping us out. He, he came out with the a drone, etc., and, and did a few of the, the drive by shots for us. I am planning some more work to do to the car. I say I've purchased some challenge and early wheels, so they'll be going on, doing some suspension work. Um, so please like, follow, and subscribe.